So, do you feel like you've got too much to do? Like, maybe you have one of those to-do lists that's just never ending? I want to share something with you. Um, a tool that you can use straight away, and it's called tapping. And uh, it's kind of a little bit counter to maybe some of the stuff you've heard, you know, because we always say, well, let's not talk about the stress. Like, stop being negative. Stop talking about your problems, because as you do, you'll attract more of it, and it's just not cool, and it sort of adds to the energy. So just, like, ignore it, let go of it, pretend that you're not thinking about it. Except, how's that really working for you? See, if you're anything like me, any time you try not to think about something, you keep thinking about it. In fact, it's human nature. The human brain does not process negative command. So if I say to you, please do not imagine a blue elephant, what happens? Did you see a blue elephant? Right. And you've never even seen one before. But the human mind does not process negative command. You know this when you're at the pub and your friend says, please don't, you know, look over there right now. And you, you almost have to, you know, hold your head not to turn it because it automatically wants to turn, right? So if you have children under five, I've got two, and you tell them not to do something, well, they do it. You have to give them a different command. So it doesn't work. So yes, it's true. We should not focus on what we don't want more of, and at the same time, it's there anyway. So I'm gonna give you this tool. We're gonna to do it together. Um, if you're in a room with lots of people, come back to this video when you're not with all those people because it might feel weird to do it with other people around. But you have to do this with me. Just watching me is not gonna work. So the thing we're gonna do is called tapping or EFT. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, and I did not invent it. You can Google it, learn lots about it. Now, I'm going to give you a super brief explanation. Basically, we're going to tap on different parts of mostly our face with our fingertips, just sort of a light pressure. And um, if you know acupuncture, you know, there's energy... Um, radiance in the body, we basically store our, our thoughts, our stresses in our body, right? You know this, you can feel it in your shoulders. So we're going to release some of what we're thinking by saying some of the bad stuff out loud while tapping. And if you don't know if it sounds weird, give it a go. Just try it with me. But as I said, repeat the words I say while tapping. Just mirror my... Um, uh, my tapping and I'm gonna switch hands probably in the middle it's just because I get tired in one hand you don't have to switch it doesn't matter which hand or which side you do it on and feel free to adapt the words so that they fit for you okay so let's give it a go so we're gonna start here which is the karate chop point so you're just gonna tap lightly with your fingertips and as you're tapping I just want you to think for a moment about all the many things you have to do about that really really long to-do list and about you have you have so so much to do and how you do not know how to get it all done just think about that for a moment and see how intense that feeling is you can even score it on a level from 1 to 10 and see how intense it is and then say after me even though I don't know if this tapping thing is gonna help, I'm willing to give it a go. Even though it seems kind of silly to tap on my body and I have no idea whether this is gonna help with my overwhelm, I'm willing to give it a go. Even though I really don't know if this is gonna work. And I really don't know if I've got time for sitting tapping on my body. I'm willing to give it a go. I have so much to do. My to-do list is endless. I haven't even written out my whole to-do list. If I actually wrote everything I need to do, it would just be way, way too long. <sighs> just thinking about my to-do list stresses me. This is a collarbone point, just below your collarbones. 
so the top of the head where there was a soft spot when you were a baby. I just have so much to do. And I don't think I'll ever get it done. And I feel out of control. I hate feeling like this. And it's not like it's just today. It pretty much always feels like there's just too much to do. I don't have enough hours in the day to do what I need to do. So I don't know what to do about it. But I'm pretty sure I'm spending too much energy thinking about my to-do list. I definitely waste a lot of time thinking about it. So on top of all the to-dos, <laughs> I also have all this stress just thinking about it. I wonder if I could release at least that stress. You know, sometimes I'm just looking at my to-do list and I'm not even doing anything. I'm just watching the list, <sighs> wasting time watching my list. So what can I do? I wonder if it's because I don't trust myself enough. Maybe I don't trust myself enough to do things. Maybe I don't trust that I can do the stuff that's really on my list. Or maybe I don't trust other people to do stuff. Either way, it's exhausting. And I'd really like to find another way. But the truth is the only way to get stuff done is to cut out the noise. So I am willing to release anything that blocks me. Anything that blocks me in my mind, mentally, physically, emotionally, from doing my stuff. And I wonder if it's possible that perhaps I don't need to do everything on the list. <sighs> perhaps some things just don't need to get done. I don't want to drop balls or miss deadlines. But sometimes when I let go of something, it just works out. In fact, when I'm trying to control everything, <laughs> that usually doesn't work. So I wonder if it's possible that I could try control things less and instead have real clarity about what's most important. So that when I start this video, I could trust my intuition. Perhaps I can trust myself a little more about what's really most important for me to do. So I'm willing to release any noise, anything that's blocking my intuition. So that when I look at my list in a moment, I'm going to know straight away what's most important for me to do. And I'm just gonna take action because I'm willing to trust myself that I know the next step. And I do not need to know everything, every step. If I just know the next step, that's enough to take action.
take a deep breath in and exhale and see how you're feeling and then take another few breaths as you finish this video and then go take action tell me how you feel after this video